Welcome to my fifth video in my Dutch tool chest series. This one is going to be on attaching the back to the tool chest, so mainly an exercise in doing a tongue and groove joint. So this is a test joint that I made. So this is actually the tongue part of the tongue and groove. Uh, the tongue and groove joint is mainly used when you're trying to make a wider board. So basically you're trying to join two boards together on their long edge to make a wider board, which is exactly what we want for the back of the tool chest. We just basically want a really big board to put on the back of the tool chest. So we're going to assemble several, I think three different boards using tongue, tongue and groove joints to create that one big board that we need. So this test joint here is the tongue and I was using that to tune up or, or get get the settings correct on my Stanley 45, which is that big hunk of metal you see there. So that's a combination plane, uh, which is used for a lot to make a lot of different uh, joinery um, in place of several different routers. And one of the many things that it can do is to create both the tongue and the groove. Um, so you'll see that here shortly, how those fit together. Here I'm cutting the groove part of the tongue and groove joint. So you'll see the opposite uh, here shortly, which is the tongue that's made to exactly fit into there. I'm showing here uh, one groove and one tongue. Um, really, I need to make two tongue and groove joints because I have three boards that I want to join together, which means I have to cut two tongues and two grooves. Okay, I've got a minor problem here that I have to solve. So, earlier when I was using my plow plane, when I was um, cutting the tongue, um, everything was going fine except for this one board. So, so I, it was going along okay here. You notice that straight line, tongue's looking pretty decent, and then something went wrong. Well, turns out I didn't really plan ahead very well, and there's a big knot right here, and it was just stopping me cold uh, with the plow plane. So basically what I did is I plowed up as far as I could until I started hitting the tough wood from the knot and then I came in on the other side and also uh, got as close as I could before I got stopped. And then you'll notice like the the tongue is non-existent where the knot is. So I've got to fix that somehow. So I, I'm not exactly sure how to fix it, but I have a few guesses. So we're going to try some stuff out and see if it works. Basically, what I'm going to try and do is draw a uh, mark a line um, by lining up a straight edge with the good parts of the tongue, with the straight straight parts, and then I'm going to mark a line with my marking knife right along this line as straight as I can make it. Then I'm going to come in with my chisel, make a little ledge, um, and then I'm going to use my dovetail saw and I'm going to try and basically saw down uh, roughly a quarter of an inch to um, saw down to where the tongue should be. And then I'm going to carve it, chop out the waste with um, a chisel. So we'll see how that goes. I'll show you the results and hopefully it works. <laughs> Well, here it is, uh, the end result. Um, not perfect, but actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. 
and uh, it was really fast to do. So um, I think if you zoom out, you can see it looks like a very straight line. The tongue part's a little bit ugly, but that'll be that won't show, so I don't really care. So yeah, um, so a saw and a chisel, all it took. So the tongue and groove joints are all done now, so now is the time to basically attach the back to the rest of the chest. So I'll be fitting together those various tongue and groove joints and then screwing the uh, back panels to the chest. Oh, and you could ignore the sledgehammer that I have uh, <laughs> as I'm attaching these. Uh, I'm not actually using that as a sledgehammer, it's just a uh, really heavy thing that I can put on the board to kind of hold it down while I'm um, putting the screws into the back panels. So the back is now attached, and you can see here uh, I need to do something about that, that top edge there. So first up I'm going to uh, saw off the extra, and then uh, I don't have any footage of it, but I just planed it down just like I did the front uh, edge so that it matched the angle of the sides um, so that the lid will sit uh, well, like it'll sit flush on the top of the tool chest. And here's the finished product. So the back's all attached, the top angle is planed and uh, matches the rest of the sides there and everything. And I'm ready to move on to the next step of the project, which will be the lid. Thanks for watching.